going to revise uh, the district chapters 1 and 2. Okay, uh, 3 and 4. Okay, the chapters 3 and 4. The fourth chapter is American Civil War and the third chapter is the Age of Revolution. Okay, when we take the chapter 3, the Age of Revolution, uh, it is talking about the revolution in America and also the revolution in Europe. Okay, when we see uh, during the middle century, during 18th, 19th century, there are two important historical uh, changes that took place. Okay, the, one, the first one is the American War and the second one is the French Revolution. Now, when was the American War took place? The American War, it took place in 1776, okay? In 1776 to 1783, the American War of War took place. And when we see the French Revolution, it took place in 1789 to 1799. And in American War of Independence, when we take American War of War, there are, uh, it, it brought lot of changes. We can say uh, the American War of Independence as the milestone of history, okay, which brought lot of changes because America was the first country which brought, which uh, fought against, okay, uh, for certain things, okay, and also following that French also adopted the same method and fought for same reasons, okay. And in both of this war, it brought lot of changes in the history. And what is the result of American War of Independence? American War of Independence or American War brought changes all over the world. Okay, it changed the history of the world. Because the democratic ideas, the democratic government formed because of the American War. And people got the idea that if they fight for something, they can get get it okay that was the idea and French Revolution in 1789 that also brought some of the changes in the history uh, it paved the way for uh, the middle class people there was a formation or creation of a new uh, class of society because of the French Revolution it is called middle class people okay so it gave the French Revolution gave hope for the middle, middle class people in the society and we will see the American War of Independence. What is this American War of Independence? And what happened because of the American War of Independence? And when it took place? Already we have seen it took place in 1776 to 1783. Okay. And what, what was the result of this American War of Independence? Okay. There are three important uh, changes that occurred because of the American War of Independence. The first one is birth of United States of America. And the second one is it gave end to the autocratic rule. Okay, the first one is uh, it the birth of United States of America. And the second one is it gave end to the autocratic rule. And the third one is Democratic ideas and democratic form of government flourished and it adopted by different countries all over the world because of the American war. Now we will see what are the causes of American war. Okay, there are different causes because of the American war. We can say there are almost nine reasons why this war. When we see the causes of American war, there are uh, mainly nine reasons for their why this American war took place. The first one is rigid control over economic policies. Okay, the first one is rigid control over economic policies. For example, Britain was, uh, it was during 18th century, okay, there was a, a discovery of a new land. America was discovered by Christopher Columbus. Uh, first of all, American West Vigi who reached America and later um, Columbus who discovered America. And after the discovery of America, there were 13 colonies were made, 13 places were made by the Britishers. Okay, the Britishers 
uh, they made thirteen colonies in the western part of in the uh, north eastern part of America. So uh, Britain started to take control over the economic uh, and the uh, trade and business and mainly on commerce. Okay, so the uh, America got very little freedom. Okay, but the full economical control was under the control of Britishers, which affected, which uh, made uh, the people of America to think. Okay, so people of America became resented, and that was the reason for American War of Independence. And the second reason for American War of Independence was uh, unjust and exploitation administration. Okay, unjust and exploitative administration when we see what is this unjust and ex exploitative administration now there was a assembly was formed okay in the assembly uh, the people of the or members of the assembly was elected by the people itself but governor was appointed directly by the britishers now when we see the administration of governor, governor was not answerable to the assembly but governor he is always answerable to the British government. So the governor acted based on the uh, dealings or the control of the British authority and the governor took all the welfare measures based on the British government not on the people. This also became resentment or uh, people became resented because of that the war took place. And the third reason was heavy taxation. Okay. Uh, the American people were taxed and uh, the, they were imposed uh, with heavy and high taxes. Okay. Uh, even for salt and tea also the taxes were collected from the Americans, whereas the Britishers were not given any tax or anything. That also became another reason for the American War of Independence. Okay, and the third reason is uh, social and cultural differences. When we take Britishers and when we take the Americans, there were there are lot of there is vast difference between the cultural uh, attitudes, culture and the uh, development of Britishers and the development of the Americans. Okay, that also. Now, these Americans also wanted to develop themselves. They wanted to uh, improve culturally. That also another reason for the war. Okay, and the next reason when we see no representation in British Parliament. Okay, uh, there is no representation of Americans in the British Parliament. But they were asked to pay taxes. Okay, uh, all the taxes were paid by the Americans, but there is no representation of Americans in the assembly. And the needs of Americans were uh, not exposed to the government because there is no members in the uh, assembly. Okay, that is another reason why this war took place. And the next reason is influence of European philosophers. Okay, influence of European philosophers, the philosophers, political philosophers. We, we call this war as the uh, political, historical political war, planned political war in the history. Okay, why it was called as planned political war? Because of the people they planned uh, themselves to fight against the British government. Now we will see who were these philosophers. There are three, three important philosophers. The first one is Locke. Okay, Locke and Rousseau and Voltaire. Okay, these are the three modern European philosophers who, who influence the people. Their writings, okay, the uh, revolutionary writings of these philosophers also made a resentment uh, on the British, uh, the, the American people against the Britishers that became the reason for the war. Okay, and when we see another reason is the demand for total freedom. Demand for total freedom. Now there is uh, no uh, representation in the parliament. Okay, people demanded themselves to become free. They asked, they demanded for 
independent so that is another reason why this war took place and the last reason is boston tea party okay all this demand for total freedom and influence of european philosophers forced the people so when we see uh, certain americans they disguised themselves and raided the british ship which is in the harbor okay which was loaded with uh, tea and more than 300 crates of tea was uh, put into the ocean okay and the people who were in the ship was uh, humiliated by the americans who disguised and went to raid okay so that is another reason for the war of independence and when we see uh, birth of united states at the end of this boston tea party there was a uh, birth of united states of america now how this birth of united states of america took place now uh, there was a paris treaty was signed by this britishers okay uh, at the end of this paris treaty before that what happens this 13 colonies they demanded for the freedom okay they stood together against the britishers okay and uh, what happens uh, they signed in the treaty of paris in 1783 so the paris treaty was signed in 1783 uh, between two people that is the people of america and the british british government now at the end of the paris treaty peace treaty the british uh, accepted the freedom of this 13 colonies so it became the reason for the birth of united states of america okay now we will see what are the reasons of birth of united states of america or the war of independence now american war of independence brought lot of changes in the history of the world okay uh, this war brought the ideas of liberty fraternity and uh, equality okay these ideas were uh, spread among the people in all over the world now this became the reason for the constitution written constitution so america started to write their own constitution okay based on the welfare of the people and the ideas of the federal democratic and republic ideas were spread among the people and uh, there was a elected president now the, there is a republic form of government uh started in america and there was uh, the president was elected by the people now the first elected pre- president was amir the washington george washington was elected as the first uh, president of uh, united states of america in 1789 okay and july 4th was announced as the american republic day american independence day okay and the next thing we will see french revolution okay what is why this french revolution occurred what are the reasons for the french revolution when we take french society during 18th century okay in uh, in france the french revolution took place in 1789 to 1799 and uh, we have seen already there are lot of changes that occurred because of this french revolution okay when we take the french society what became the reason for the french revolution when we take french society the society was uh, divided into three okay it was a uh, uh, ancient regime okay we can uh, see there were three classes in the society okay the uh, first class or first estate second estate and third estate the society was divided like that okay when we see this first and second estate people in the first estate were the priests and clergy and in second estate people were 
uh, merchants and traders and in uh, third year state the people who were the, the ordinary people were in the third year state when we see this first and second year state and third year state there were a lot of difference between these people okay when the first and second year state people they lived in luxury and enjoyed all the privileges they have not even uh, had to pay the taxes okay this third class people they have to pay all the taxes they were not given any privileges uh, they were not even given any welfare activities okay this affected this affected the people that became the reason for the french revolution and when we see what are the causes for the french revolution okay when we see the french revolution uh, there were uh, new beginning or uh, there was starting of middle class society in france okay who were this middle class people middle class people were uh, like professionalism doctors engineers merchants traders okay these all people uh, comes under the middle class society the, so these people became uh, developed and they came forward though they have developed they were not given any welfare activities okay they were not given any privileges in the society that became the reason for the french revolution when we see the reason for the french revolution there are th uh, seven important reasons are given the first one is unequal and unjust society social order okay what is this unjust and uh, unequal social order that's what i told there were three classes in the society three estate uh, there, there there was inequality between the people the first class and second class and the third estate people okay that uh, became the reason for the french revolution there were the formation of middle class society they wanted uh, to uh, come up okay they wanted to also enjoy with all the privileges that's the reason this war took place and the second reason is growing power of middle class okay who were this middle class i already told doctors engineer there was a beginning or formation of new community new class of society okay that was another reason for the french revolution and the third reason is influence of new ideas of philosophers okay influence of philosophers how did this philosophers influence the uh, people okay uh, the philosophers like walter rousseau and montesquieu they gave the revolutionary ideas to the people okay now this revolutionary uh, ideas were influenced the people people were influenced by the ideas of in revolutionary ideas of this french philosophers that's another reason for the french revolution and the next thing when we see autocratic uh, rule okay at autocratic rule of france and the france was ruled by king charles 16 okay who was not uh, given any important for the welfare of the people who were not given any welfare measures to people who were not minded the benefits of the people okay he always wanted to um, uh, wanted to improve and he always all, always behind his wife mary antonoy okay that is another reason why these people were angry on this autocratic rule in this in his autocratic rule the people were humiliated people were oppressed people were suppressed okay and people were overloaded with the heavy taxes that is another reason why these people were against of this autocratic rule and that became the reason for the french revolution and the next reason when we see uh there was a, a beginning of or uh, there was a, a end of or we can say corrupt society okay corrupt administration the administration was not uh, uh, well or strong okay the rulers after uh, king charles 16 were not 
strong. Okay, so that is another reason why this war took place. Now we see what was the immediate cause for the French Revolution. When we say the immediate cause for the French Revolution is storming of Bastille. Okay, now what happened in storming of Bastille? In uh, 1789, the third estate people they gathered together in a place called Tennis Court in Paris, in France. And they all took a vote to fight against the government. That is known as uh, Tennis Court vote. Okay, and following that, uh, there was a prison at Bastille. The prison at Bastille was uh, stormed by the revolutionaries. And the prisoners from the prison was relieved. They, they freed from the prison. And these uh, prisoners, they have joined with the revolutionaries and they fought against the government. Okay, now at the end of this war, what happened? Uh, the France, uh, the, the king of France and queen, they escaped from uh, France. At last they have caught and they escaped, executed. That became the end of the autocratic rule uh, or the king's rule in France. Okay, now in France, what of, when we see the result of this French Revolution, in France also this uh, democratic form of government formed. The French, uh, they, they have uh, started to write their own constitution. Okay, in 1791, new constitution was drawn for France. Okay. And when we see uh, this French Revolution and this, uh, this constitution, this also inspired and in influenced different countries. The idea of the democratic ideas of liberty, equality and fraternity was uh, spread all over the world. Now the people in different countries, the different colonies, they also got the idea that to fight against this motherland and to take freedom. Okay, and that was the result. And when we take the American Civil War, why this American Civil War took place? What was the reason for American Civil War? What was the condition of America during 18th-19th century? Okay, when we take America during 18th-19th century, there were two important changes that occurred in America. The first one is westward expansion and the second one is industrial revolution. Now, the main reason for the civil war was industrial development, okay. And when we see the background of this American civil war, see the northern states and southern states were there in America. The northern states, they gave important for manufacturing and shipping, whereas the southern states, they gave, they gave important for plantation and industries. Now, this northern state, they have no need of much labor to work in there uh, ma for manufacturing goods or anything, whereas the southern states, the people, they need more labor. So, the southern states are in need of labor. They, they were in demand of large number of labor to work in the plantation and industries. So, what happened? What did this uh, southerners did? They have exported the slaves from Africa. Okay, now Africa was the only source to get the labors in cheap rate. Okay, so the uh, slaves, they were exported to America from Africa to work in the plantation and industries. And the manufacturing goods were shipped to Lancashire. Lancashire was one of the industrial city in England. Okay, now uh, the slavery or these labors were uh, brought to America for the good purpose but later on they were misused. Okay, the, the, the labors became okay, slaves to the people, those who are to the landowners in America. That became the beginning of, that was the beginning of slavery. Okay. Now, on uh, account of this slavery, there were clash between the northern states and the southern states. The northern states opposed slavery, okay, and they have started anti-slavery movement in North America. Whereas the southerners, they supported slavery, 
okay they don't want leave uh, slaves from the southern uh, part of america so the the, the slaves were dealt cruelly they were humiliated they were oppressed they were not given any facilities okay even the proper food and wages were not given to this philosophers uh, this uh, slaves okay so in 1852 harriet beecher stowe she was a writer she was a writer okay she wrote a book on uncle stowe's cabin okay which expressed the horror of slavery okay and which also uh, supported or uh, accepted by the northern states whereas the southerners they opposed the book called uncle tom's cabin okay and when we see abraham lincoln abraham lincoln became the first uh, 16th president of america and he became the president in 1781 okay and when he became the president uh, what was the condition of america america was under the control of slavery they were clashed between the northern states and the southern states northern states supported anti slavery movement whereas the southerners they supported slavery okay so now abraham lincoln saw the humiliation the oppression the uh, the bad situation of the slaves so he wanted to uh, free the slavery from or he wanted to abolish slavery from america okay and he abolished slavery and he brought the ideas of democratic uh, rule okay fraternity equality and uh uh fraternity equality and liberty okay according to this, uh, to this uh, liberty according to this democratic ideas he wanted to give free freedom to the people he said all men are born free okay all men are born free that was the slogan of abraham lincoln and he made a definition for democracy what is democracy it is a form of government for the people by the people and of the people so he wanted to form the new form of government based on this democratic ideas okay by the people for the people and of the people so the government should be based on the needs of the government and the government should be formed by the people that was the demand of this i mean uh, abraham lincoln now what happened this ideas of police there was there was a american union okay in the american union both uh, northern states and the southern states were there okay now because of the anti slavery movement of abraham lincoln the southern state wanted to get away from or break away from the union okay so they broke away from the union and they made jefferson david as the a confederacy a president of confederacy okay so this that was the another reason for the civil war so the civil war took place in 1781 to 1786 okay between this 1781 and 1783 uh, what abraham lincoln did abraham lincoln addressed in a conference called gettysburg okay in a place called gettysburg he planned a conference okay this conference mainly based on anti slavery movement he wanted to abolish this slavery and he said all men are born free everybody should be uh, treated equally in front of the law that was the demand of abraham lincoln and he demanded okay this southern states they broke away from the union abraham lincoln wanted to uh, reunite this union that is the main reason for the american war of Uh, the civil war american civil war okay at last what happened this people they met together okay this american revolutionaries and the troop of america they met together they fought each other there were more than 7 lakh people they lost their lives because of this american war civil war okay so uh, now what happened at last this war war was controlled by uh we'll see grant okay and 
southern state also was reunited with France. Okay, that was the main motive of Abraham Lincoln. And after that, after the reunion of southern states with the Union, on the 10th day of uh, this reunion, when Abraham Lincoln went to a theater, he was shooted by an American, okay, from the southern state, and he was killed. That gave end to the American civil war in America. So children, we have seen about the age of revolution and the American civil war. In age of revolution, we have seen about the two important wars, that is American war of independence and also we have seen about French revolution. And in American civil war, we have seen why this American civil war took place, who became the main cause for this American civil war and who uh, reunited this southern states in, with the Union and what was the condition of America that all things we have seen in this class. So study the portion well and prepare for the exam well. Okay, we will see you again in the next class. Thank you children.